Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it, and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a rarely seen IWC AquaTimer Chronograph variant. This is the IWC AquaTimer Split Minute. Launched in 2004 and made until 2008, it features a split minute complication, the likes of which wouldn't look out of place on a longa double or triple split. This is reference 3723-04, and as you can see, it's rendered in a matte finished stainless steel. It's not a huge watch, though it's not a small watch. At 44 with unique integrated lugs, it fits easily on my 16 centimeters circumference wrist, and you're gonna find that a wrist as small as 14 centimeters probably would wear this watch easily, just because of the stubby length, tight downturn, and shape of the lugs themselves. Lug to lug, it's a larger watch than you'd expect if it were a 40 or a 41, but a smaller watch than you'd expect given that it's a 44. It's 51 millimeters across the wrist. It is thick, however. 16.9 millimeters means it's almost 17. It's not fitting underneath the cuff, especially with the flange-like splayed profile of that bezel. Now, the watch on my wrist sits easily, and it is very integrated, as it's got a little bit of ingenieur in it. Between the integration of the lug profiles and the strap, you can see that this is a proprietary strap and junction system, so you're not going to be fitting an aftermarket. The strap's nicely made, though. It traces both the lateral expansion of the lugs, as you can see it thickens as it approaches the lugs, and the taper as it moves away from the case. So from any angle, it's nicely integrated and it traces the flow of the metal. There's a character line molded in. It's fairly thick. It is substantial. You can see there are little plots on the underside to help it aggress and hold against the skin. And when I said this is a proprietary strap junction, I mean the actual retaining system, which is a bar retention system, is also proprietary. Far more secure than spring bars. You press the plunger on the underside and then you push the bar through. You can actually remove the strap using two ends of a broken toothpick. The strap is simple and handsome, and that could be said of the buckle as well. As you can see, the buckle, all of a matte finish to match the case, and the case, a little bit understated. Unlike a Breitling, which typically will combine size and obnoxious high polish, this has a handsome and understated Teutonic sensibility about it. Of course, the language of the Schaffhausen manufacturer is German. They're a bit distinct from the French Swiss. And the timepiece is nicely detailed with stepped out lugs. You can see the geometries are hard but well chosen. They break up the mass of that almost 17 millimeter thick case. And there is a switch on the side that allows you to activate and deactivate the split minutes. Let's start on the crown side and work our way over. In fact, let's just turn it all over and talk about what's inside. IWC caliber 79470, 30 joules, 44 hours, automatic winding based on a Valshu 7750 between IWC installing its own proprietary parts, regulating the system, and installing all aspects of the split minute complication. This is best described as an in-house caliber. Thanks to the screw-down crown and sophisticated case seals, it has 120 meter water resistance. It beats away at 4 hertz, it has both stop seconds and a quick set date, and the unique split minute complication. Now I have the split minutes frozen in place. When you reset the split minute, it jumps back under the minute hand, and then if you lock the split minute, it acts as a marker, and it, it freezes itself wherever the minute hand currently is. So that marker will remain between 30 and 35 minutes until I release it. That's how the split minute complication works. There's also an internal rotating dive bezel. So between the chronograph, the split minute, and the dive bezel, you have three different ways of measuring elapsed time using this watch's specialized functions. That's before we even discuss the basic time telling functions of the watch. So it has a bezel adjuster that's coaxial with the reset pusher of the chronograph. You actually turn and the unidirectional rotating internal bezel, a long time aqua timer trademark, can be aligned with the minute hand. Also because it's all protected underneath the sapphire, the full bezel can be loomed. The dial base is matte, the flange of the bezel is also matte. You have no nonsense yellow on black and white on black printing for high contrast. And of course you have the ability to actuate the chronograph itself using the start stop at two and the reset trigger down at four o'clock. Screw down crown 
And then again, inside you have a movement best described as in-house. This is a ton of capability. It's also an old school IWC as the engineering comes to the fore. So does legibility. This is a no-nonsense utility style watch. Even if it's not going to be life-saving equipment on your next dive, it wouldn't look out of place as a backup gear. So this is a watch that can be used for professional purposes, is definitely built for that reason, features a rather esoteric in-house complication specifically suited to measuring short intervals up to 60 minutes. So this is a thoroughly realized old-school IWC sports complication, one that I absolutely adore. You can see this short production, 3723 Aquatimer Split Mini it and make it yours on the watch box. IWC Aquatimer Split Minute.